CatSynthTV. Hey everybody, CatSynthTV. And today we are looking at the Luna NT. It is a version of the Noise Toaster Kit designed by Ray Wilson of Music From Outer Space. Custom built by an outfit called Luna Lab Noise Research. The Noise Toaster is a full analog subtractive synthesizer voice with a two waveform VCO, a low pass filter, a simple VCA, and two modulation sources, an attack release envelope generator, and an LFO. It was designed by the late Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space and sold as a DIY kit. Kits can still be found at synthcube.com. I acquired this built version in 2012, in large part because it shared the name of my beloved cat Luna. Although it appears to be based on the published schematics from the MFOS noise toaster, it does not appear to include the MFOS PCB, but rather a custom build of the design. There is little to no information about Luna Lab noise research available. The website on the front panel is no longer online, although parts of it can be found on the Wayback Machine. Here, we see that the Luna NT is indeed the noise toaster and credited to Ray Wilson and MFOS. And with that, let's explore what this little instrument can do. As mentioned earlier, it is a full synthesizer voice with a VCO, a low pass filter, and a VCA. It also has two modulation sources, an AR envelope and an LFO, which can be assigned to the VCO or the VCF. The envelope can also be assigned to the VCA. Let's turn up the volume now. I particularly like using the oscillators at low frequency. The filter is great with bass tones as well. Okay, let's open up the filter and turn up the oscillator frequency. Right now we are listening to the square wave. We can switch to the sawtooth. We can switch on sync mode to create a classic sync together with the LFO. This is a good time to introduce the LFO in more detail. It has three waveforms, a square, an integrated square with softer curves, and a square derivative with strong discontinuities. For sync, it's best to use the integral waveform and set the frequency to maximum. Let's switch the VCO to square. Okay, let's switch off the sync and use the LFO to modulate the oscillator frequency.
We can hear the difference in the LFO waveforms quite clearly here. Maxing the frequency of the LFO gives us more of an FM sound. Now let's look at the envelope generator. It has just two segments, attack and release. We can manually trigger it with this button. or set it to repeat automatically. If we set the attack and release to their minimums, we again get an FM effect. We can even use both the envelope and LFO together for some more complex chaotic FM. Let's take a closer look at the filter now. It's a classic resonant low-pass filter. We can use the LFO to modulate the cutoff frequency. Thank you. 
The noise toaster includes a simple VCA. It has only a volume knob and an option for envelope modulation. It's a basic, mostly clean amplifier, but it does have an interesting distortion at high volumes. Finally, let's put it all together and have some fun. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the Noise Toaster. To find out more, please visit these websites and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSynth TV.